Why do the Denver Broncos subject themselves to booze by showing the number of tickets not used every home game? You look around the stadium, Dave, it's about half full right now. When I asked Broncos historian Jim Sakamano, he actually spun the question on me. Why don't other teams? He tells me the Broncos have always done this because teams used to announce actual attendance and not paid attendance until league policies changed. Sakamano says Pat Bolin kept the tradition because fans like to boo the no-shows. <laughs> like the 19,094 who didn't show up yesterday. That's a bigger snub than the 12,000 who missed the season-ending game against the Chargers last year, which wasn't as bad as what Broncos insider Mike Kliss remembers the weekend after Thanksgiving 2010. We have video of Kyle Orton, just not the number of no-shows. It was 45 degrees that day, the Broncos lost, and eight days later, Coach Josh McDaniels was fired. And the snow pouring down at Mile High Stadium. But Jim Sakamano believes the biggest no-show game was December 27th, 1987. There are thousands of people here and tens of thousands the no-shows. The announced attendance, 37,500, meaning half the fans stayed home. So what about the Nuggets, Avs, and Rockies? I reached out to each and asked, what would it take, and would the team also consider announcing tickets sold that went unscanned? Cue up the PR music. <clears throat> The Nuggets release its attendance numbers in accordance with NBA policy, which is paid attendance. Stop the PR music ever so briefly. One minute later, I got this response from the Avs. Music, please. The Avalanche releases its attendance numbers in accordance with NHL policy, which is paid attendance. Subscribe to the next YouTube channel and I'll buy you a beer. Am I actually buying them a beer? This could be a very poor idea. We need some terms and conditions. Offer subject to terms and conditions.